Hello, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Love. I am your host, Monique Gigi. Um, today, we're going to be making sloppy joes, but it's almost kind of vegan. So we're going to call it vegan-ish, which I got from my friend, Christina. Um, and she has an Instagram page called vegan-ish where she makes um, clothing and she has tumblers, the uh, tall cups um, that have vegan-ish on it. Because some of us, you know, we, we're not completely vegan, but we're kind of vegan-ish. So I love it. I'll link it below. Um, and you guys can go follow her on there, purchase some of her merchandise, which I just thought was like super awesome. Um, because yeah, like I said, some of us aren't completely vegan, but we, we're taking the steps in the right direction of eating healthier. So let's start with our meat. <laughs> so we're going to be using light life plant-based meat. Um, I started eating this last year when I had COVID. Um, I think I randomly tried it. I think... I think I probably tried it before then, but I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I made a sloppy joe then because I was like, I haven't had one in a long time. I had a taste for meat, but I didn't really want any meat. And so I tried it. It was awesome. And I was like, let me finally do a video, you know? So this is what it looks like. It looks like actual meat. Um, and so we're going to get started. We're going to turn our eye on. Put it on medium right now. I love to use grapeseed oil. You guys know that. I think I've talked about it quite often. We're gonna put it probably about a tablespoon. Um, I did, you guys, finally buy another glass um, oil holder, but I haven't put it in there yet. And what's funny is that I did recently buy little um, little plastic things where you can use it to get the oil in here without spilling everywhere but i just forgot about it <laughs> so i've just been using it from the bottle but it is time to buy some more because i'm almost out but anyway so our seasonings are as follows the usual my tony chai trees herbs and spice if you haven't tried this get you some asap um we're going to be using a little bit of garlic powder and instead of using the sloppy joe mix because i always feel like it's salty it's a little too much in it we're just going to use ketchup and chili powder. So, and we're doing a little twist on the sloppy joe today. I originally did this in like 2015. Um, my cousin laughed at me. He was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I don't know. I thought of it today. So this is what I did. And you'll see that a little bit later. But since then, it's funny because I've seen people do it. And I'm like, mm, I did that a long time ago. And not to say I was the first person to come up with this, but I just thought it was funny. But anyway, so you want your, your skillet to be on, like I said, have a medium to high. And we're gonna put our put our, our plant-based meat in. Um, this plant-based meat is made from pea protein. Um, it is soy-free and gluten-free, which is very important for me because I am allergic to gluten. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm allergic to soy. So I don't, I try not to consume that at all. Um, and one thing I learned from Dr. Jo Josh Axe, who is on YouTube, is that unless it is non-GMO soy, it's not good for you in any capacity. It's very high in estrogen. So I try not to eat anything soy. If it does say non-GMO, sometimes I'll try a little bit. And so far, I haven't had any major reactions, um, but it is far and few in between that I do eat that. So... Basically, we're just going to cook this like we would any regular meat. So here's a close-up of what it looks like while it's cooking. We will have some darkening. And you just want to continue to cook that. At this point, I am going to add a little bit of the garlic powder. I don't go overboard with the garlic powder, just a little bit. And we're gonna continue to cook this until it's done. And I usually just take my spatula and kind of cut it up with the spatula, making it small. All right, you guys can see where I have crumbled it up. I did turn my heat down to kind of like low. You guys, so next we're going to, because we have our crumble, it is all crumbled up. <laughs> Um, and again, we just did that with the spatula. We're going to add a ketchup and chili powder. And I have this on low because I don't want it to overcook too badly. 
and you're just gonna do this kind of to taste, but you want enough in there so it's not super thin. Um, that is, it's thick enough. You feel like it's a sauce on it, so. Put the chili powder on there, and that's probably like, hmm, you can use like three tablespoons of chili powder. I'll usually go in and add a little bit more. All right now, I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. That ketchup to warm up and get on all of it, all of it. I'm gonna add a little bit more ketchup. I like mine salsa. I don't know about you guys. That's how I like mine. I just turned that up just. All right, you guys. So here is the close up of how it looks. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna add a teach more of some toning just because I feel like it needs a little bit, a little bit of help. I'm gonna do that and mix that in. There we go. All right, you guys, we're back. And now we're gonna get to the part that's it was a little bit different than a regular sloppy joe. So basically, we're gonna make a grilled cheese sloppy joe. Dun, 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 dun. No, I'm <laughs> um, So basically, as I told you with the grilled cheese, you want to butter both sides and put it in the skillet. So we're gonna do that. Turn our heat up a little bit. Um, and instead of using just regular American cheese or cheddar, I'm using Kobe and Jack. Now, I will say I do like cheddar on here as well, but I don't know. Kobe Jack has always had a soft place in my heart, I think because of my grandma. Like, anytime she made anything like cheese slices or cheese and crackers or whatever, like, she always had Kobe and Jack in the house. So, I don't know. It's just near and dear to my heart, you know? But I pray you guys have been well. It's been a long time since I've done an episode of Cooking with Love. Hopefully you guys can see me. Um, so yeah, it's been a while. I pray that, you know, the Lord has kept you, that you are thriving and doing awesome. And even if you're not, and you are hanging on by a thread, I pray that the Lord helps you and keep you. And I pray that he propels you forward um, greater than you thought you would ever be. Okay, because these are some trying times. We're at the... <laughs> in the last days and just like in the bible says there will be wars and rumors of war you know we gotta pray we gotta pray we gotta sit close to the lord getting your word if you haven't been in your word believe me it is a it's a helper okay <laughs> holy ghost is a helper so we gonna put that over and basically at this point we're gonna start to make our sandwich so what i like to do is put a little bit of meat on both sides might seem like i'm being a little audacious with that or you know like i don't know if that's gonna work i'm telling you it's amazing okay i try not to have this up too high um and of course it's okay some of the meat may fall off it's all right just eat it anyway but i pray you guys have been well i pray that you all are corona free i pray that your families are well and i want to say i'm sorry to anyone who has lost family members because of um the coronavirus covid you know or just because unfortunately in my family we've had quite a few unfortunate losses but you know God is able. We believe that every single one of them is with the Lord, rejoicing in heaven. I was just talking to a friend about that the other day. I never like to say rest in peace because they are resting. They're up there with God, enjoying heaven. Like you ain't like, <laughs> like you're like yes. This is this is the place I've always wanted to be. So you know, I like to say rejoicing in heaven. So now we're gonna take our cheese. We're gonna put that there, and we're gonna. I didn't think about it. I don't have a spatula, so we're gonna we're gonna work with what we have. Oh yeah, that's hot. And we're gonna flip that over. 
So of course it's already hot. So with that, both sides, ooh, 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 it's very hot. Try to get some of that meat off of, off of there. And I am gonna take a little bit of more butter. I know you guys are probably like, she already has a lot of butter. I'm trying to use less butter lately, okay? I'm trying. I'm gonna turn that up just a little bit so it like really gets a good sear on there. I like mine almost burnt, almost burnt. And of course you can use whatever kind of bread you like. I tend to use wheat bread. I think I got the bread that I didn't use to buy, that I used to buy for whatever reason. I don't know how that happened, but whatever. I think I wasn't really paying attention to what I was purchasing. Um, I'm gonna put it on the other side. See that little tartness there? It's a little bit, a little bit of tartness. I like that. I like that a lot. But you know, I just pray for your strength in the Lord. I pray for, you know, that your faith doesn't subside. It is so easy to um, allow our situations and circumstances, the woes of the world, to weigh us down. Um, and I just want to encourage you not to. Um, and I just want to tell you that God is our source. God is our strength. He is our peace. He is our helper. And the word says the Holy Spirit is our helper. So rely on him, call on him, I'm telling you it works, it helps. You are not alone. You are not alone in your circumstance. Ooh, that's so hot. He has us. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. And then you got your meat in there just, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to cut it open for you guys so you can see how awesome this is. <laughs> and there we have it. Sloppy Joe grilled cheese. <laughs> All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I pray that you are doing awesome and amazing. If you liked it, like the video um comment below if you eat sloppy joes or if now you'll try one because there is a vegan ish option i mean there is vegan cheese so i mean technically you can make it vegan um i think you do need to check the ingredients of ketchup because i'm not fully certain if it's vegan but i'm sure there's vegan ketchup out there if it isn't um but yeah if you subscribe please do so i'm also on instagram my instagram is gg lux g-i-g-i-l-u-x-e um you can follow me there um and i did recently oh i talked about tiktok in a previous video i am on tiktok now um i just post food videos you won't see me in it at all but my tiktok name is miss gg lux so m-s g-i-g-i-l-u-x-e um and check out the other videos i have tons others i think like at least 50 other videos but um please like share and subscribe and you guys have an amazing day soon bye